Good morning, this is Pietrus Vivius, it's 5 September 2019, Ingwe Beach, St. Lucia Estuary, Isimangalisa Wetland Park, South Africa. Sidewash is howling from left to right, from south to north. Shad that's coming out is small, from minute to tiny, or tiny to minute, depending on your definition of tiny. Um, winters calmed down a bit, it was moderately strong west easterly when we got here, it's turned southerly and calmed down a little bit. Other than that, the fish is biting. Ah yes, with us the fishing predictions for 6 September 2019, St. Lucia, Cape Vidal, First Rocks Mission, Rocks and Mapelon. Brought to you by St. Lucia Tours and Tarser St. Lucia. They do well watching from beach launches at St. Lucia Estuary. You can see you get very close to the whales at the best of time. Wind speeds of 29, 22 to 29 kilometers an hour, some rain during the day, but mostly it's the wind that we are bothering. Having a strong southwesterly wind through the night, we're going to start tomorrow again with strong sidewash, 6 ounce grapnel plus for the guys that doesn't spoon, and uh, barometric pressure is quite high. We're opening the morning with a 1035 hectare per scale. Wind speed of 25 kilometers an hour southeasterly, the same as this morning, very uncomfortable but fishable. But your spoon has to be 30 gram plus, 48 preferably. Wind speed's pretty much the same for the whole morning, constant parametric pre pressure now, it climbs in the early morning from 10 o'clock. It's constant, the wind speed is constant, in the afternoon the wind drops a little bit. So we're looking at 12 o'clock, still a very high wind speed, but a pressure drop in the afternoon after a low tide, which makes it quite fishable on the strong side washes. Uh, late afternoon the wind turns east, and they say east is least for the fishermen. Wind is still blowing, howling, southwesterly now. Whales are jumping two, three, four at a time. Looks like the Second World War again, the ocean exploding. Bardet swagging around, putting sand in everybody's bait boxes and tackle boxes. Uh, yeah, can't remember if I mentioned any small shed coming out.